Theorem 3.11 says that if a transversal is perpendicular to one of two parallel lines, then it is perpendicular to the other. So basically, if I have two par parallel lines, and I know that the transversal t is perpendicular to one of them, I want to prove that t must also be perpendicular to the other. So let's go ahead and label these angles 1 and 2. Well, I know that L, or actually let's number our steps here, L is parallel to M, and also that T is perpendicular to L. And those are givens. Since L is parallel to M, I know that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. And that's because if you have two parallel lines cut by a transversal, then corresponding angles are congruent. I also know that angle 1 is a right angle. That's by the definition of a right angle. Meaning, the measure of angle 1 is 90 degrees. Oh, I'm sorry, 3 is not definition of right angle. 3 is definition of perpendicular lines. 4, because 1 is a right angle, then I know its measure is 90 degrees, and that's the definition of a right angle. Okay. I also know that then the measure of angle 2 is 90 degrees. And that's through substitution. Meaning that if 2 is 90 degrees, then angle 2 is a right angle. Definition of a right angle. And so, T is perpendicular to M by definition of perpendicular lines.